Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm Erin, where I talk tips, tools, and tutorials for virtual assistants. And this week, we are practicing tasks using AI tools. If you are not using AI tools, you are going to get left behind. Now, I'm not saying that AI is going to replace our jobs anytime soon. We as virtual assistants are not going anywhere. But a VA who is using AI tools well to be a better, faster, more efficient VA might replace you, the VA who's not using them at all. So this week for your practice tasks, I really want to focus on ways that we can use AI to be better, faster, smarter VAs and not get left behind. So there are so many, so many tools. There's like an abundance of tools. I've talked about a bunch of them on this channel before, but the things that I think are most helpful to us as VAs is that we can do things like automate email responses so that you're not typing the same thing over and over and over again. It can help you with research for clients. It can help you book travel. It can help you custom create social media content. You can run keyword searches. You can edit your spelling, your grammar. There's almost nothing that you can't do with AI these days. So. I'm gonna give you three different practice tasks this week, and I want you to use any AI tools that you can think of. And if you're not using any AI tools at the moment, this might be a little scary for you because you might be like, I don't know what to use. I want you to tell me. Well, I'm not gonna do that because in the real world, the clients will give you tasks without telling you how to get it done. You have to figure that out. So the only stipulation I have for the three practice prompts that I'm going to give you this week is that you must use some sort of AI to get the tasks done. Now, the first prompt is an easy one. I want you to schedule 30 minute calls with 10 different people this week. For this particular prompt, I'm not going to give you 10 individual emails, um, but I want you to pretend you're not actually sending 10 emails out to people. I just want you to pretend that you are sending the same email with the same information to 10 different people. And it's basically to schedule a 30 minute call with me. How would you get that done? Would you do it manually? Would you use an AI tool? And if so, which one? A few moments later. Now, if I were tasked with doing multiple emails again and again and again and again, and it was the same content over and over and over and over, rather than type out the same thing verbatim, what I would do is I would use templates. Google's templates are the most simplified form of AI. <laughs> and it's, it's true, AI is actually used um, to create these templates, just as AI is like the face security thingy on your Apple phone. I love that. I don't know what that's called. Um, but those are simplified, simple, simple forms of artificial intelligence. So let's use uh, templates to our advantage. And if we know we have repeated emails again and again, what I would do for my client is I would look at... Uh, I will quickly look at their schedule and be like, okay, I have a couple blocks of time, you know, in the morning here and the afternoon here and predominantly on Fridays. Then I would start jamming out some templates. So first, what we want to do is actually write the email. So you got to open a new email. Once we have our generic little message, this is where we'd fill in our time options that we already looked up for our client. So theoretically, you'll know when your client is available. I've got my email written and this is going to be the basis of all my emails that I send to 10 people. Um, so what I'm going to do is I want to save this template. So I'm going to come down here to more options. I'm going to go over to templates and I'm going to put this save draft as template. Then what I want to do is save as a new template. So I can say meeting invitation with, and then we'll say maybe this template is only for your specific client. So what we would do here in the recipients, we would simply type in one of the emails that your client is trying to meet with, and then I would hit send. When it comes time to send the email to the second person, instead of typing in all that info that you just typed in in the first place, we're going to open a new email. We're going to come to the options, go back to our templates tab. And here we have meeting invitation with client name. Bada bing, bada boom. If I needed to change some times, then I would change them here. Uh, but basically, Google is this really simple AI that can make writing the same email over and over and over again, really easy. So anyway, email templates are a great way to schedule meetings for your clients without going crazy. Task number two, and this is so close to an actual prompt that a client gave me recently. I am meeting with the creators of Pod Save America, and I know nothing about them, and I know nothing about podcasts. Please help. 
So this particular prompt, I want you guys to use AI to research the creators of this particular podcast and also give me, your client, who's totally clueless about technology, give me some additional details that you think that I need to know about podcasts before I meet with these people. So pause the video here, use any AI tools you need, give yourself five to 10 minutes, see how far you get, and then come back here and we will assess answers. A few moments later. So if I had this task and I had to do research for my client, the first thing I'm gonna do is actually go to the website. So I've Googled Pod Save America. I can get a lot of information about what exactly this podcast is, what it's about. I'm gonna go to um, their team. So I, I would honestly, I would just copy and paste this. If my client were meeting with the founders, I'd be like, oh, copy and paste. And shameless plug, by the way, I will include a link uh, to this. But um, and a lot of my courses that I sell for virtual assistants, I include templates that you can use with your clients. Um, so for this particular one, I have an informational research template. Um, and then you would copy and paste details about the founders. Um, and you would put those in this document. So this document is a great document to help you uh, do that research that your clients are asking you for. But I want to see how AI can help us even further. Further. So we know we have some very basic information about these people. First, I'm going to come to Bard. And I like to use a combination of Bard and ChatGPT uh, for a couple of reasons. Bard is way more conversational and ChatGPT is better at the technical stuff. So the reason I'm doing this particular prompt is because I want to see what kind of things Bard thinks I should be thinking about with podcasts. Okay, smart questions you can ask the founder. Here's some elements of podcasting that you should be aware of. Okay, so I could copy and paste this, you know, for my client where I could say it's audio only, it could be about any topic. What's down here? Specific questions you could ask Pod Save America. These are some good questions. How do you choose the topics that you cover? So, okay, so Bard does a pretty good job, um, but it's pretty general. So I'm actually gonna take the same prompt and I'm gonna come over to chat GPT and I'm gonna enter this prompt here. Okay, so this is interesting because the same prompt, chat GPT is giving me more general things as if I should understand the podcast content and target audience research with topics. So chat GPT is almost treating me like I'm gonna run a podcast, which I'm not. Let me see what questions they've pulled up. What inspired you to start Pod Save America? Um, what sets you apart from other political co podcasts? Okay, so. In this particular case, I think the elements of podcasting that you should be aware of are more helpful from Bard. So I would copy and paste this into my informational research. Um, but I think ChatGPT has better questions. So I would probably copy and paste these questions and put this into my informational research. Um, I'm just curious, we know what the team on Pod Save America is because of the website, but let's just see what AI says. Um, okay, that's interesting. I don't, okay, wait, look at this. John Kerry, okay, so he started with John, he rose to the ranks from his speech writing skills. Is that, is that even mentioned here? No, see, that's fascinating. Okay, so we have the actual bio that the guys have included, and then ChatGPT has pulled up more information about them, um, like exceptional speech writing skills. So that's kind of cool. And John Lovett was a stand-up comedian. This is all things that you could add to your informational research that go beyond what the guys are, are choosing to share. I'm gonna go and use the same prompt for Bard, and let's see how Bard does. Okay, this is crazy, but Bard has come up with alternative facts as well, like how John Favreau created the NBC comedy. Um, I used to watch 1600 Pen. Any other 1600 Pen fans out there? Uh, I would absolutely include that he's a self-described love nerd and has a love for Star Wars. So I would probably take all these facts, I like that I'm interested in my own fake prompt that I made for you guys, but I would probably take all these facts and um, I would use both Bard and ChatGPT to help inform my research. And again, use this template. If you're ever given a research opportunity by your clients, use this template that I'm gonna share the link with you. Um, but this is a great way to not only be able to fact gather directly from the website, but also fact gather with the, with the help of AI. So tell me how you guys did and tell me what tools you used for this particular task. Task number three, I am taking my 80 year old mother-in-law to Florence, Italy. Please help us plan flights and things to do. 
This is also a pretty typical task request, and I want you to pay very close attention to some key details here, or I should say key detail, which is you are traveling an 80-year-old person now, so I need you in this task to be mindful of activity levels that are appropriate for people in their 80s. Now, I'm not saying don't do any activities. This mother-in-law might be the most active 80-year-old you've ever met, but keep that in mind. They're probably not going to go skydiving, but they probably will want to do a wine tour. So just keep that in mind uh, as you're going through this prompt too. And again, use any AI tool you can to help plan this vacation for this client. Give yourself five to 10 minutes, come back here, compare your answers. A few moments later. Okay, for prompt number three, we have a travel task, which I've talked about this tool before if you've been on my channel. And this tool, which is called Maya, is an AI tool that also uses ChatGPT. So again, theoretically, you could be using ChatGPT directly to help plan some of this travel. But let me show you why I prefer to use Maya to do travel more so than ChatGPT. And once again, it really just comes down to um, conversation, <laughs> the way that the AI um, talks to you, I think is really helpful in fact gathering. Okay, so first, where do you plan to go and for how long? So we're gonna say Florence, if I could spell Italy. I do apologize, I did not give you guys a, a length of time. Um, so we're gonna make that up. In reality, your client will tell you, I'm going for 10 days, I'm going for a week. So I'm gonna say 14 days. Cool, all right, what's your budget for this trip? You know, I'm laughing at myself because my prompt to you guys for travel was pretty general. Um, but this is great because in real life, clients will say things to you like, I'm going to Italy, plan me a trip. And you might not think of questions like, what's your budget? I know I never think of that question when I'm talking to my clients. So this is this is good practice. I can tell you if you forget to ask your client something, don't sweat it. You can make assumptions to keep the task moving and then make changes as needed. So for let's pretend your client is absolutely just loaded. So you can say unlimited budget and we'll just see what the AI comes up with. Um, if you present an unlimited budget option to your client and they're like, wow, your hotel prices are wild, then you know to winnow down and make changes. So we wanna keep going to move this forward. So unlimited budget in Florence, What? when are you planning to go? Let's just say October. Great AI. Okay, who will be joining on this trip? This is exactly why I like to use Maya. So it'd be myself. I'm gonna say my spouse and my 80 year old mother-in-law. What's really cool about this tool is that within seconds, it's already come up with a 14 day itinerary. And just by skimming this, uh, I can see here that it's pretty low key, a lot of walks, a lot of sunset walks, a lot of guided tours, some cooking classes, a lot of museums. But if you're not happy with what Maya has generated for you guys, what you can also do is add some additional details. And I could say my mother-in-law maybe isn't mobile. Maybe you know more details about your client than I do. So we could, let's, for the sake of this, let's just pretend. Mother-in-law um, is not very mobile and would prefer fewer walking options. Let's just see what happens. I'm still seeing a lot of walks. Although to be fair, this was a pretty low key um, itinerary anyway. You can continue to have a conversation with Maya as much as you want. Like you can be like, add more food, add more gelato, add more wineries, add more driving tours, et cetera, et cetera. So you can really customize this. And then once you've come to a happy spot that you're ready to present to your client, you would simply click generate plan. The generate plan does, the generate plan does take about five minutes, but Five minutes is a lot faster. AI could do this a lot faster than I could make this. Look at this beautiful plan that it's created for you, including an overview of the entire 14 day experience. It has highlights, it has uh, activities, hotels, pictures. So if your client needs help booking activities or booking dinners, um, you can actually click on these links and uh, search by date, you know, what kind of guided tours could you schedule for your client? So for this particular task, I wanna know, how did you guys help plan travel? What tools did you use to get this one done? And did you like your AI tools better? 
Okay, how did you guys do this week? These three tasks are very typical, but I wanted you to get a sense for how you could use AI to get some of these tasks done faster. Now, I'm not saying these are the only tools you need to use. I just wanted to highlight some of the favorite tools that I use in my business with my own clients. If you use different tools, I absolutely wanna hear which tools you use. So tell me in the description which ones you used to get these tasks done i would love to check them out especially if it's a tool that i haven't used before i love learning about new ai tools thank you guys so much for watching this week thank you guys so much for practicing these tasks with me if there are other things that you want to practice as a va let me know because i will make you tailored prompts and help train you on those tasks uh, tell me what you need help working with or what you need practice on i'll make more videos for you guys Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.